It's time to start painting again this afternoon. I'm actually in the process right now of painting my own home, and I thought I would share some tips with you that really make the job go easier and make the paint last longer in case you're getting ready to paint sometime soon. See this paintbrush? I've used it probably 50 or 100 times, and look how clean the bristles are. You know, yeah, there's paint on the handle, but how do I keep the bristles so clean? I know it sounds crazy, but if you're using a latex or water-based paint, if you get the brush wet first, what happens is as you paint during the day, and you know how that paint up here gets hard and you can't get it off? Well, since you got the brush wet with water in the first place, that paint stays wet for hours. I know you're ready to paint, and here's the mistake most people make. They go ahead and open up the lid of the paint can, and you just walk away and start to paint out of that can. Big mistake, and here's why. Over the day, your rim of your can is going to get clogged with paint, and when you go at the end of the day to try to put the lid back on, forget about it. It's going to be hard to get on, and it's not going to seal properly. Okay, I'm just going to pour the paint into this old can, but it's clean, and the, and the edge is clean on this new can as well. Go ahead now and clean off the excess paint out of the groove. And here's a handy tip. I take a paper towel and gather it into like a flat swab and use it to clean the groove of the can. Now the can lid will fit tightly back on again. In my situation, the house is going to be a butter color, the siding, but the trim is going to be a, this very dark hunter green. Which one should you paint first? Well, I always like to start with the siding, the main body color, and then cut the trim in last. And more importantly, when I go ahead and paint the siding color, I want to be a little sloppy. I want to get some of this butter color paint where I'm going to be painting green so that I end up with a very crisp line. Oh, look at that. These painting tips should help save your equipment and make your job look like a professional did it. I'm Tim Carter.